Hello, viewers, hello, Zimbabwe and the world. Welcome to Africa and Beyond Television Network, where we are committed to give you the latest trending news in the nation of Zimbabwe without fear, without favor, or any bias. CCCC leader or organizer Amos Chibaya was arrested by the police, uh, CID Gueru, and um, he is being charged by uh, for, for, for holding a rally without notifying uh, the police and he is denying that charge. So I'm going to read the charge sheet for you so that you, you get to understand what really, really happened and what really uh, transpired. So it is a, a, a sad situation that um, uh, the leaders are now being persecuted. Our people are being persecuted. Everybody is being persecuted even without uh, them committing any crime. So that is the situation we have. Honorable Amos Chibaya has been arrested and um, he has joined other incarcerated leaders, the likes of Honorable Job Sikala and so forth. So here, the CID law and order Guero uh, has um, made a statement. And now the man who is leading this case is Detective Sergeant Musevenzi, and um, he has arrested Amos Chibaya. And, um, the case here is uh, failing to give notice of a procession contravening Section 7.5 of the Maintenance of Peace Act, where it is alleged that on 30 04 2022 at Gwindingwe Mountains, Charundura, you addressed a CCC, Citizens Coalition for Change meeting, without notifying the, regu uh, the regulatory authority as required by the Act. Um, so that is the, 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 the uh, crime he is facing, that is the charge he, he is uh, facing at this moment. So uh, he has been advised of his rights, number one, that is to appear uh, before a court within 48 hours, unless further detention is authorized by the competent court. Uh, right number two, not to be forced to make a confession. Right number three, reason for detention. Uh, number four, to approach the high court of an order uh, of Habia Corpus, that is an order requiring to you to be released or brought before the court for the lawfulness of deten uh, the detention to be justified. Uh, another, to be considered innocent to proven guilty and to be informed promptly of the charge in sufficient details to enable them to answer it. And lastly, uh, to have time and facilities to prepare for a defense. So uh, these are the um, rights, he, he has been advised his rights. So if you go onto the commun community section on this platform, I have put um, the, 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 the pictures, I have put the, the whole um, pictures of, of, of this uh, charge sheet here. So uh, the accused, that is Honorable um, Chibai, denied the allegations and said he never convened such a meeting. So uh, here is, 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 is the issue. Advocate Nelson Chamisa is being attacked left, right, and center. Go to Honorable Job Sikala, he is in prison. Go to Honorable uh, God, Godfrey Stoller, he is in prison. Go to the Vascana, they are always in court. Makombro Aruzivish on remand. Opo watching on remand. Uh, almost everyone, Father Mayeri, is also on remand for, for, for another case. A different case. She is always in and out of the courts. Uh, go to Amos Chibaya. He has been arrested and uh, now we have charges around him. So it seems as if everybody around Nusun Chamisa is now um, has been arrested or is being arrested and everybody needs to be answering in, in the court of law each and every time. And we don't understand the kind of persecution which is happening. I don't know why they are trying to do this. I don't know why they are uh, bringing um, the, the, the name or the, the constitution of the nation of Zimbabwe uh, into disrepute. I don't know Kuti Zunzacho, Zirukumbo Famba say, but I believe that um, it's, not, it's not proper for, 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 for us to have such a situation in the nation of Zimbabwe, to have such a situation on our leaders, to have such persecution of our leaders. So the, the thing is to, to try and, number one, demoralize the people of Zimbabwe, Number two is to try and remove key people 
uh, around Nelson Chamisa. Because Amos Chibaya is known for his um, efficiency in terms of organizing my meetings. Wherever he goes to organize a meeting, he organizes it successfully. Wherever he goes to organize a meeting, he makes sure that everybody is organized and everybody is, um, is maintaining his peace. He was in Marondera. The temperatures in Marondera were very, very tense, but he managed to keep the people calm up until Nelson Ch Chamisa came to disperse the people. And that is uh, the power of an organizer. Uh, organizer. That shows how powerful uh, Amos Chibaya is. And he is a, a threat to the state. He is a threat to dictatorship because they know very well that with a very competent organizer, uh, your party is going to, to, to thrive. Because you see Nelson Chamisa all over around Zimbabwe. It is Amos Chibaya who is working with the local leaders of those areas to organize uh, the, 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 those peoples. So you can actually say that uh, with the organizer now arrested, it is now another story because uh, we now have them uh, every time being intimidated, every time uh, different uh, stories being created and different issues being created. Even if they notify the police, you are going to see the bail conditions even prohibiting Amos Chibai to do some of the functions of, of, of an organizer, which means he is going to be backstaged automatically by the bail conditions. The same way they have backstaged people like Jobsika, they can no longer speak freely. Whenever you speak, Zutun Zwa insider violence. Whenever you air your opinion, Zutun Zwa insider violence. So, Tim Zimbabwe, this is a direct persecution of our leaders. This is a willful persecution of our leaders. And I believe that as citizens, we need to, 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 to be aware of whatever is happening. We need to be aware of the mechanisms which are being used. Their main aim is to reach Etnos and Chamisa. But when you, are, you want a, a big tree to fall, you go onto the root and you begin to chop the roots slowly, 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 up until you get to the main root or to the tap root and you see the tree falling. So this is the, 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 the strategy they are trying to, 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 to use on advocates, no, so Jamis, that is tearing CCC apart. That is removing everybody who's, who, who, is about, who is about no, so Jamisa, because no leader is not attending a, any court uh, proceeding, except for advocates, no, so Jamisa. Tendai Bit is in and out of the courts uh, with a series of accusations. Everybody is in and out of the court. I do not know why. So to, for you to see that this is persecution, go to Jutunguiza. The Nyatsime uh, violence instigators, Sanu PF uh, leaders, they are working scot-free. Nothing has happened to them. No arrests have been made to them. Only CCC members are being arrested. So in that case of Honorable um, Sikala, there are nine people behind bars, including Honorable Job Sikala and Honorable Stone which means there are seven others who are being persecuted together with their leaders. So as to send a message, just to send a message to the, to the people of Zimbabwe that you cannot support change in Zimbabwe, so that you, you cannot support for anything meaningful in Zimbabwe. That is trying our leaders, to force our leaders to, for, 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 to, to hear them, just to say Smith was better. That is what they want to force. Only. So you can actually see that um, we are at war. And we need to be vigilant. We need to be vigilant because you don't know whether you're going to live. You don't know whether you're going to die. You don't know whether you're going to be dismembered. You're going to be beaten. You're going to, to, to be injected with some, something. You're going to, to, to be accused of something. You don't know. So if you are a, a, a champion, you need to stay away from Stay away from girlfriend Stay away from from those things because if if, if you are uh, if your friends are the people who love money, they will persecute you. They will create stories and make sure that you die in jail and make sure that you 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 fail to to fight for 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 the cause. So, Tim Zimbabwe, I don't know if you have any views or any thoughts regarding this matter, but it is so sad that um, we have seen so much persecution. We've seen our leaders being arrested left, right, and center. Uh, Mazibabwe Shanduko um, is also facing Mama Chaji Zavo. And you ask the questions, why are we doing our uh, so to our people? 
why are we are we persecuting our people uh, to, to to such an extent? That is the question I, I always have. But we need to, to understand that one way or the other, you, you, you may not die. You may survive the regime, but you die of cancer. You may survive the regime. You die of an accident because of bad roads. You may survive your, uh, the regime, but you die of a hunger. Or you, you die being beaten by your men because of my misunderstandings. You, 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 you even die of my diseases because your wife might have a boyfriend. And because she wants to, to, to make things work in the house, always write a boyfriend. So you can actually see that whatever way we are going to die, whatever way we are going to die as citizens, so we, we are in a struggle. We need to face this struggle. We need to bring that change. You might uh, say, I don't want to die, but because of lawlessness in Zimbabwe, we not see kwa nemshika shika ichiti zama prison. We not see kwa nemshika shika ichipinda mare robot. That is the norm in Zimbabwe. And some, somebody who is not uh, suspecting anything, unungo shika pa robot, wote anu, robot yaraka varauko, regaindi pinde, mshika shika unungo uya does not respect a robot, obu wazi kwa nemoto obu wafireba. So there is no need to fear. There is a need for us to be united. There is a need for us to, to work together. That is only the only way we are going to, 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 to win this change. So I don't know what is um, trying to happen here. And is here, and is here, and is here. <laughs> if somebody is trying to locate my network, I don't know. But uh, that does not work. OK, so. You can actually see that um, that is the, the, the situation here in Zimbabwe. That is um, what we are facing at this moment, at this juncture in the nation of Zimbabwe, and we need to remain resolute. We now know how they operate. We now know how they do their things. So sometimes when, when, you, you, when you go live, they can try to, 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 to track your location. And what they don't know is whenever you try to locate um, my location, I know that you are doing so because it appears on the screen. Right on the screen, it appears. So that is a waste of time. It is a waste of time because my numbers are there on the screen. If you need me, you just call me. There is no need for you to, to, to track where I, may, to, where I am or to track how I move because we don't fear. Even if we go to jail, we go to jail for a better Zimbabwe. Even if we die, we die for a better Zimbabwe. There is nothing uh, kids are Zimbabwe at this juncture. At this moment, honestly, kids are Zimbabwe because we are failing even to provide for our families. Why? We have a dead government. We have a corrupt government. We are failing to take ourselves to hospitals. Why? We don't have a government. All they know is to use state resources to arrest uh, people like Honorable Chibaya, Honorable Sikala, and so forth. Why these people are uh, like in Terry Shwai, they are walking scot free. Honorable Temba Muliswa always exposes my criminals on a July month, but they are working scot free. No arrests are, made, are being made. Yet they are using state resources to go after innocent people, to go after politicians who are seeking a better Zimbabwe, a better life for everybody. Just because they want to remain in power and they want to continue looting for another five years. That is the reason why they are, they are arresting us, they are beating us, they are tricking us, they are doing all, whatsoever they are doing. So instead of silencing us, in day mune sama cancer machines kuparenya atwa, mono tetunura batichita uraere. Instead of killing us, in day mune vaka zupata aracha zujaizu, standard hospitals, and see which tunota uraere. Go and make sure that the education system is functional for everybody, and see which tunura batichita uraere. Go and fix the currency and see good to know Go and fix the issue to do with our savings. Go and fix the leaching or the leaking of our minerals through the porous borders and through the airports and so forth. Go and make sure that everybody is benefiting from the economy and everybody uh, is attached to the economy. Just make us benefit the same way everybody is benefiting, not through corruption. For me to have a driver's license, I need to go and, and pay something. 
Why should I pay my equity to one driver's license? I can drive, I can do everything, but you just need me to pay. Why are you doing that? There are measures for you to stop that corruption happening at BID, but I'm only, I'm good. So for me to get an ID, ukarasa ID, you never get it. Everything, everything in Zimbabwe, everything in Zimbabwe is just done. Is also going to do this with us. And the question is why? Why? It's because they want to continue driving uh, my, my, my Lamborghini, Mama's Motor, and not Kisa. It's a Sutichi Safa, it's Tambor. Look at those who are in power right now. All of them, Vanalabo, they don't stay in Zimbabwe. They visit Zimbabwe. Their kids visit Zimbabwe. Right, Masunga, the problem of Zanu. Zanu is that they don't know and understand what a democracy means. They, there is number uh, one, there is number two. Yeah, uh, that is a very, very fact. The issue of democracy to them, uh, they believe that uh, democracy is all about looting, democracy is be, always be, being, be about being on the forefront. They don't understand anything about democracy. But they don't care. They don't care. Go to the state of our schools in Zimbabwe. The state of our schools is, is, is so devastating. That is the reason why they, they, they loot. That is the reason why they do whatever they, they do without any remorse. Be, why? best economies. Canada, America. Viva Kuruva Kuru, South Africa, Vamu Singapore, Vamu Malaysia, Vamu China. Kupi Kupi around the world. UK. Is this where Duana Rugara Kupi? Dover Wendo Kuruka Fukuru. Dover Wendo Kuruka Pombia Dun. So, why should we continue like that? That is a question. Why? And they're trying to force us to, 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 to silence us, arresting our leaders, beating our leaders. Uh, maiming our leaders, shaming our leaders on social media, using all tactics, employing and deploying massive state machinery to make sure that they, 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 they just silence our leaders. Mario, we are moving. We are doing something. We are doing something. We are doing something. We are doing something. We are doing have done something which is positive. Do you know that the government of Zimbabwe is paying an American firm over? 300 million gopa gore for just lobbying with my sanctions abuse. For just lobbying for the removal of sanctions. Over 300 million pagore every year. If you take that money, if you invest it, pakuvura mine, and begin to mine properly, you, you get enough money, you get enough money, and the question is, why is it that our, our, our government does not own my mind? Ayo? Government does not invest even in opening my mind. Are it 100% owned by the government? We have a lot of resources. If you open a mine 100% owned by the government, it means gold, 100% profit from that gold. And that gold is going directly to the reserve bank. Number one, stabilizing the currency. Number two, making sure that you have enough to pay the workers who are making the economy function and who are making the economy run. I always ask you questions. Why is it that you are not willing to give massive servants must stand? You see that they can't buy in must stand for themselves. You have rendered them poor and useless. Why is it that you, you are failing to give them a stand? They will come and say, and I kunasa, munotora must stand, munota say, but in Nasa no Eshika Yoku the equity, you will shamar great Rawuri, Mario Kubadarwa, Aukwani Seku Badara, Chquerit, Kapach Quirit, just stand, Chukutu Tingest, Gana, Aukwani Sushi Badar. That is a fact. 
tell me any civil servant who is in the lower grades akawana imba akagona kutenga imba through nas show me one show me they can't because vana nasa vacho mama terms are record they are not working so what are you doing in government when you can't give my civil servants then you must stand when you can't provide the transportation of your civil servants what are you doing there why are you in leadership when you can't provide for your own people you have to leave so okay yanzi zvino rwadza zani iri kuti rwadzisa yes i agree I agree. So I don't want to take it much longer. Thank you very much for your contributions. Thank you very much for tuning in. Please hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that pesa kashuna in the live you get a notification. Also, tinokumbirisa, please like these videos and also make sure that you share to as many people as possible. Sharing is caring and that is the best way to support us and make sure that we save, spread the message to the people of Zimbabwe. Don't forget to pray. Continue praying for us because we speak but we are not safe. If we die, we die for the struggle of this country. If we live, we live to see a better Zimbabwe. That is our pledges. The same way the people who went to the liberation struggle pledged, we are pledging the same way. We are going to fight for our future. We are going to mobilize for people to vote. We are going to mobilize for people to vote for change. We are going to mobilize for advocate to win in 2023. And we are not going to be apologetic about it. We hope and believe that the political prisoners in the nation of Zimbabwe are going to be released. Let's continue to pray for them. Let's put them in our own prayers. Why? It is very important for them to be released and to us healthy because there is a lot of work to be done. But if they decide not to release them, we are going to continue forging ahead with the struggle. We are going to continue to preach the message for a new Zimbabwe. We are going to continue to put ourselves to task to make sure that we bring a solid change in the nation of Zimbabwe. Not face powder change at Agawa Namna 2017, which was stage managed. This time around, we need a real change. And without advocate, no such miss that change is not going to be complete. So let's register to vote. Let's put our effort to make sure that we support the change, we support the cause. Thank you very much for tuning in, Gat Sangane, in other uh, episodes and other programs.